Right, good morning folks and welcome back to the Eastbourne Fisherman YouTube channel. Uh, today I've come down the beach, I'm going to give it a go, target some smooth hounds. It's my first go targeting smooth hounds this year, so I'm hoping it goes to plan. Um, I'm going to show you the rigs we're going to be using, the bait we're going to be using, and we're going to get on and hopefully try and catch one. Right, so in this video today we're going to be using a slightly different rig. Um, I haven't actually used one of these before. Um, this is a dongle rig that's made by using a knotless knot, and we'll go over the video of how to make this rig in the next coming um, videos. So it implies using a circle hook which is there, tied with a knotless knot, with a dongle at the bottom there to hold your bait on, and using one of these bait clips at the end. Um, I found that these bait clips are good, um, but fortunately um, you can only use them um, with a grip lead. Um, I haven't found a method to be able to clip these down to a rolling lead jet, um, which I'm looking for, for at the moment. So there we go. So that's the rig. Uh, short pulley rigs then. Um, using a blue grip lead. Baits for today, uh, we've got some prawns and a good old squid as well. There we go. So I'm going to start off by just taking a prawn and I'm going to use Nova baiting needle, which is here. So grab one of the prawns and chuck it straight onto the baiting needle, like so. And the reason why I'm using the baiting needle is because it's, it's quite a soft bait, and I want to get this in the right place. I'll take some cotton. Start by putting a light bit of cotton just around the prawn. Like so. I grab my circle hook. I want this kind of at the top of the bait, which is right here. I'm just going to nick that into the top of the bait like that. And then I'm going to lay the dongle down behind it. Like so. Probably a bit of a backwards way of doing it actually. I should have done it the other way around, but there we go. I'm just going to continue to wrap the elastic. dongle like so we'll slide it off in a minute and do it by, by hand I think I've messed this up a little bit there we go but you get the gist of it right now we've got the cotton on slide the prawn off and we can continue wrapping There's enough cotton on there now. So that'll be our bait there. That'll be our bait there. So we've got the circle hook at the top and the clip at the bottom. And the idea is that we're going to use the clip to clip to the impact shield and uh, hopefully catch the fish. Right, and just to show you the full rig then. So the full rig is here. So there's a pulley rig, you've got the swivel connected to a term link on the main line. And then running down to the business end, which is here. I'll pull it straight so you can see. We've got the circle hook there stuck out with the knotless knot on there. And then there's the prawn on there. And then you've got the little clip which is there, which clips onto the impact bed there. Let's get this cast out. Right, so we are first bait in. On a very foggy morning. Uh, fishing 4am today to around about 7. High tide's about 7 in the morning. It is very foggy down there. So the water is pretty flat. A little tiny ripple in the water. Water is pretty clear, which is great. First cast didn't experience any May rot, which was awesome, but you know as the tide comes up to the top, May 
change. I have found the remains of a small child. <coughs> She's here. Hopefully that's not going to turn into a missing persons report. But there we go. Right then, so we will fish on and see what happens. Hopefully it's a good one. Well, it's just while I wait, I'm just going to prepare some more baits. But wrapping up a bit of the squid, so then when I get the time to change the bait, we're just ready to rumble. And quite a lot of you will be saying, where's the crab? Where's the crab? I know, I know. There we go, so there's my squid. A couple of squid baits there. And I'm just going to... A couple of prawns. Yeah, so we all know that smooth hands love crabs, and it has been known, or it was known, that the biggest one I ever caught was to a lovely peeler crab. But they do also like prawns, and also squid. So I want to see if I can try and catch one on a prawn or a squid. I have caught them on um, prawns and squid before, so. Hopefully this will be a winning combination today. There's me uh, <laughs> prawn bait, somewhat curled up. But there we go. I'll straighten that nicely once that goes on the dongle, hopefully. So I'm using the dongle rigs today. Um, there was a post on my Facebook group, UK and Island Sea, Island sea Anglers, a couple of days ago by a chap called Robbie. And he um, did a little video on there of uh, how to make this dongle rig using the... I think it's like a a knotless knot from carp fishing world or something like that so I'm going to give it a go and let's see how we get on I know there's loads of other methods of using the dongle uh, you've got the perfection knot uh, and some people have used them with what do you call it, split rings um, yeah so I mean we'll give it a go and we'll see how we get on um, I have tried tying the perfection knot a couple of times and I'm absolutely pants at it so hopefully this will be um, another way we can still use that rig, but with a slightly easier way to tie it. Right, so as you can see, it's starting to get light. It's about half four at the moment. Uh, we're two chucks in. First chuck, nothing. And now we're on the second chuck. So, yeah, starting to get lighter. Hopefully, the fish play ball. The jobs are good. Right, let's just pull my rig in and we have a bunch of stuff pouring at the bottom of the dongle. So there we go. Let's get a better back up.
Right, so I just missed an absolutely incredible run. One of them moments where you either die for the camera and potentially lose what's there, um, or you, you grab the camera and risk it, risk trying to you know, catch the fish at the same time as well. But yeah, really nice run. Pretty much taking the top part of the bait there, the squid and the prawn. Uh, then it took me up into the groin. Um, I left it there for a while, for five minutes, ten minutes, and see if it will come out. But no, it tightened up, and I managed to pull this out of the groin. So, all in all, is not lost. I'm the proud owner of a new lead, and we managed to take a load of shot leader out of the sea. I mean, this is the reason why I don't like using a shot leader. I mean, everyone says, you know, it's, it's safe to use a shot leader. I mean, for, for the fishing that I do, 90% of the time I'm on my own, um, or I'm with one other person and it's pitch black. So, I mean, I use braid. I've never, re I never really lose any rigs, to be fair. Uh, all the rigs that get snagged, I, I usually pull for a break um, uh, and get pretty much everything back by the rig. I just don't see the point of even all of this line in the sea for someone else to snag on, but that's my own personal opinion. Alright, so let's crack on and do some more fishing, get some more bait out of there. But it's a good sign, definitely know that there's fish here, definitely know it's a smooth island as well. It gave me a really nice boom on the reel, um, and you don't really get that for much fish to be fair. So yeah, they're definitely out there. Well, that sun's coming up proper bright now, and they're taking my eyes out. Still nothing. One run, no fish. Apart from that, it's been absolutely quiet as anything. We're approaching the top of the tide now. Looks like it's going to be a lovely day today. Well, we catch a fish and beat the blank. Really don't want a blank today. Second blank in a row would not be good. Let's hopefully push for it and try and catch something. There's got to be a fish out there. Look at all the sea. Look at it all. There's one fish out there. Right then, folks, so we're down to our last cast now. It is not looking great. It is not looking great. Apart from one solid run which uh, comes to nothing and me gaining one lead we haven't seen any fish at all use pretty much a whole pack of prawns and half pack of squid and nothing bait's coming back pretty much untouched now so sun's coming up in the distance over there and the tide is moving up so yeah i think we've got about another Another cast in me, and then it's uh, it's time to go. Right now, folks, so that is it for today. Unfortunately, no fish again. Can't believe it, but you know, that's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes, and you have to take the rough with the smooth. And boy, believe me, do I know that. You can't win them all the time. Just got to keep going, keep trying, and we'll get on to the next session, and hopefully it'll be a good one. So I'm going to leave you with some uh, views of the surrounding area that we're fishing today. It's still pretty misty, but you'll be able to see a little bit. And uh, I'll see you on the next video. Cheers.